Hey, what's up guys, Merrick Dorn, and welcome back to Victoria 3, Voice of the People. Alright, so remember we're doing this war here in Africa. Should be able to ramp that up fairly quickly. Are fighting a lot of troops, but obviously we are in a much better position than they are. Though, in that battle, we don't actually have our general. Has he not arrived yet? Maybe just arrived right before that battle didn't, uh, hadn't started yet. Uh, but this is the next one. We should have a commander this time. Yeah, well, after this war, we'll have to spend time burning off infamy again. Currently fixing the electricity issues. Electricity's too expensive at the moment. Taking a look at this battle here. Um, we did just get uh, achievement. I don't know if you guys can see that. The recording software picks that up or not. Uh, but yeah, we got an achievement for starting as France and having... Uh, is the highest GDP and then the highest something else. I wasn't able to read it. I'm not sure what the other notification was about it or what the other requirement for it was. Uh, but we did get the self-propelled torpedoes as well. Probably won't put that in place because it does have that negative associated with it. Uh, Spain is helping us out here, and they just uh, are going to win this battle here. Push the front forward a bit. Get us a little bit of territory taken there. And we'll wait to build anything else since we are currently losing money. And so yeah, we'll wait until we get the the power plants constructed. We also got those chemical plants being built. And a railway. So once we're done with that, we'll get the port going here, and then we'll see uh, what else is needed. But what I really want to do in today's episode, at some point, is to start working on building up our military for a future confrontation against the, the British. So here's this battle here. Looks like there's going to be a victory again. Yeah, it seems to be only the, the Spanish doing the attacks here. Yeah, I want to start uh, preparing. Uh, something popped up there for a second. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. And, oh, okay, I was going to say, unfortunately, we, well, never mind. I was going to say, unfortunately, we we got a penalty, but we actually had deactivated it. Uh, but it's, now it's reactivated, so it doesn't matter. It's hitting our influence, and also, it's just bouncing back and forth. What the hell's going on here? I can't figure out if they like us or not. Despite being the only <laughs> member of our government. Yeah, it seems kind of broken. Surprise, surprise. And we did get the steel railway railway cars and they capitulated at the same time. All right, so that war is now over. Uh, we'll have to take a look and see if we care about any of these. It doesn't look like we do. So let's go ahead and declare a neutrality in both of these. All right, so we got the, the tanker cars. I'm probably not actually get use that though. Or this one here, because yeah, that reduces the infrastructure. So whenever I, I do that, I always get these, you know, huge penalties there. Huh? I said they capitulated. Did somebody else get involved in this, and then they capitulated? That must be the case. I didn't even know anybody else was involved in this. I didn't even read who capitulated. I just assumed it was them. Anyways, so we need to build the the port here get them connected to our market and we'll take a look and see what else we can do at the prices so I don't know if we'll need to do anything else for electricity since we have a lot of power plants currently being built let me see if any expensive goods that are you know government goods tools and explosives it seems well we're already working on the explosives but yeah we can do something for the tools I've been talking about uh, you know doing something to bring our Tool prices down for some time now and just haven't. So yeah, why not? And so we'll build we'll build them here. Let's get a few of those constructed. Oh, oops. I meant to have that pause. So we can take a look at where this next conflict here is. So that one's over here. So we'd need to move these troops over there pretty much as soon as this uh War is done here, which we're almost done. Let's have we'll just have those kept raised up, and then we'll move them on over there now. All right, so let's get. I don't know how many generals we raised up, just the one. 
yeah just the one so we'll have him go over here if he hasn't already it looks like he has all right excellent so that's way more troops than you need for this little front but is what it is so now they have capitulated and landowners are no longer happy with us so we're losing that influence there influence is very rarely ever an issue though but you do want to keep it high so you get that nice uh, bonus for the infamy decay uh, with that we have gotten them conquered excellent and so there'd be two options here next obviously to them they have a lot of states so you're gonna get a lot of infamy if you try and conquer it all at the same time but could instead just uh, puppet them that always be an option but our concern is gonna be over here next so that'll be the next uh, conflict for us we just need to burn off a little bit more infamy before we do so and also we can go ahead and get some stuff constructing here so we're already working on the tools I think we're gonna work on our our military now at least for a little bit so we need both ships and troops so let's go ahead and build up some barracks here I suppose we'll just kind of spread these out I really care so much about troop numbers now in each uh, location more about our just in general numbers so we're just gonna try and get a bunch of, of barracks built so we got 10 there maybe build up over here as well and yeah, we'll do some here and anywhere that doesn't have troops serving you know like in Brittany over there we need to correct that make sure everybody's serving over here also they don't have any troops so at least they have like 10 battalions in each location I feel and then maybe just kind of make these numbers a little bit better than they are or even make it look prettier we only want four more there I guess we'll do four over here as well but yeah, we need a lot of troops guys if we want to be able to compare with the British military they have a very large military currently and I suppose we could build some over here though they might not have any troops they have a few yeah why not build a few there apparently 20 in both of those locations and there I think we did that for that one objective so we'll build a few here so that looks pretty good and do we want to build some over here too yeah why not so build this area up and then that's probably good for now obviously this we're spending a lot of money now but building the, the military was going to be something we needed to spend a lot of money on but the barracks don't take very long so even though we're building a lot of them it does not take that long we're trying to get it so that our military is larger than theirs they currently have 500 battalions they just keep on building that up higher and higher but yeah we want more troops than they have but it seems almost like the AI is like programmed to make sure that their army is as large as their number one rival over here us at the very least they definitely seem to be doing that with the fleet because as soon as I built my fleet up they just started pumping money into the fleet now we also need to fix the bureaucracy issues as well guys so that's something we'll have to do after we finish up with these barracks and then I suppose we'll work on the fleet after that and all this takes takes a while building building this all up and now they're happy so we got that uh, bonus to influence again and so this should be a nice quick conflict here though I suppose you got to sweep all the way across the desert here so maybe it won't be that quick though this is impassable so you just need to get up to, to this point here and uh, then we'll have faster colonization there and is this uh, let's take a look is there something involving us that we might care about no let's just go and declare neutrality there so don't continue to get the notifications and we did get those destroyers all right excellent now we've already set up to get another tech here okay it seems we need to first just so I'm not like confused here go ahead and reset the production methods I think that's the only location where this is an issue there we go beautiful because yeah otherwise it just <laughs> looks like a mess here all right so let's go ahead and switch over to the destroyers it's gonna increase offense and defense and reduce the morale loss 
Require a lot more ammunition and iron glads, so we'll have to take a look and see if that's something we'll have to uh, adjust our, our market for. So this, you know, you lose the defense, but you gain the offense. And of course you get the convoy rate and efficiency, but yeah, we're not going to pay for that. Just because, you know, it's got a penalty. So why pay for a penalty, even if it does have a better bonus? Anyway, we looked at that one, just seeing if there's anything that we could be improving here that we haven't yet. Sometimes you just don't dip in, in, into these enough and you miss stuff. Yeah, it seems that we're, we're good to go on everything. When you change them as you get the text, then generally it's not an issue. So we got the Destroyer Warfare completed. Excellent. Of course, we won't be able to change our, our good situation just yet since we already got all this other stuff building. Spend a lot of money on that as well. Luckily, we have 6.88 million in the gold reserve. All right, so our two options here are to reduce the convoy requirements or increase the Navy defense. We'll look at the Navy defense. And yeah, let's go ahead and build this port as well. And Tonga. Just kind of build those as these pop up rather than dipping around all over our territory and figuring out where ports need to be built. Let's do it a little bit at a time. High support for state religion. And everybody demands that we move backwards in our society. And looks like we finished up all those barracks. All right, excellent. And so we can then take a look and see what our troop numbers are, because I wasn't really counting there. It's 383, but they might not have the full numbers just yet. We'll have to wait. Uh, but yeah, we're still significantly smaller army uh, than the British one. We don't really need to have as large, I suppose, since they just keep adding into this. Oh yes, we need to take a look at our market prices, see if there's anything we need to do here with those adjustments made. Yeah, you can see the ironclads are pretty expensive, so we'll want to get more shipyards. Let's go ahead and work on, oops, work on those. And probably in this location here where we get that, that bonus, I believe it's in, is it this one here? That's where we have them, so yeah, I assume it's there. Uh, and how bad is it? So we get 25 of each of these and we're pretty short. So we're gonna need a lot of those. So let's go ahead and well, let's make sure we have the labor, we do. So let's build well, six of these won't be enough. Now there is some here as well. And they got a lot of labor, so we'll go with four there. And that should be pretty solid. We'll take a look at the cost once we're done here. Yeah, this is expensive. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty expensive right now. But we do almost have those tooling workshops constructed, as well as the port. And we did build up those gold reserves as well. And I'm glad to see the investment pools being made use of. And we'll want to, I don't know, probably invest a bit more in construction as well. So where are we at on infamy? Right, 17.2. Whenever that gets low, we want to make sure that we're starting new conflicts. Because we got to get this here conquered. Now, I don't know how much we'll be able to get in one conflict. And this here is their subject state. And we got socialism, okay. And we can go ahead. And we did win that, so that's that colonization right. So that should save us some money. We won't have those troops mobilized anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure how exactly you would want to do this here. Because yeah, you could just make them into a, a puppet or dominion or whatever, conquering them would be very expensive when it comes to the infamy and just make this into a really slow, slow process. So I almost feel like that's the better way is to just try and make Siam into a, a dominion or a, uh, a subject state, a, a, uh, a puppet. That's 41.3 infamy, so it's not a small amount, but still significantly less than attempting to conquer all their territory. And yeah, it would just take too many wars 
to do it piece by piece. I'm not entirely sure how much more territory do you have because, you know, just to be able to complete this. So it's five states in the Indochina strategic region. We currently have one, two, three, and then I believe that counts as one as well. So we just need one more to complete this objective. So you'd really only need to take this here and then you could even leave Siam with the rest of their territory there and just do that in a later war or whatever, just to complete that objective. So yeah, if you wanted to, to you know, take over these ones, but yeah, I like the idea of getting all of it in one conflict, and then you can later annex them. Of course, you gotta wait a certain amount of time before you can do so. You know, if we just took a look at them here, and then interactions, to see when we'll be able to, to annex them. And, well, we have the truce with them, so you gotta wait until the truce is over. I guess that makes sense. Uh, also, we can go and create this uh, port over here. So we'll do that. And we have the money to build a few other things. Looks like the engines have become a bit expensive, so it makes sense for us to improve that. Seems like we did bring the prices of the destroyers down. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the steamers are really cheap, so probably going to want to trade those away. But I'm looking for the ironclads here. So there they are. That certainly could be cheaper. Uh, but I think they might not have finished getting all the, the workers for that yet. Because, yeah, I feel like it should be higher than that. Uh, what we do want to do is go ahead and trade the steamers away and the, the fertilizer. Of course, this is all requiring more bureaucracy. You should probably fix that. Uh, let's go and create an export route. If we can, looks like none of these would be profitable. Okay, well, we don't want to start one that's not going to be profitable. Uh, what about the fertilizer? Is there anything here? No, there's not. Despite the low prices, we can't seem to export any of this. Okay. Well, if it's not profitable, there's nothing we can do about it. What about... Nope. Can't do fabric. Okay, so no trade routes that we can currently do for, for any of these really cheap goods in our market. So we can try and make those industries a bit more profitable. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the, the engines here. I did say I was also going to fix the bureaucracy. Yeah, we'll do this first, and then we can work on engines and stuff like that. Yeah, we're just building all these locations here. You're going to need quite a few of these. So yeah, we'll just work on these for some time. All right, do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do ten of these. So work on that, and then we'll do something else here. And it's a good thing we did burn up, uh, did build up the gold reserves, since we're now burning through them. And dangerous equipment. So we take this decision here. The manufacturing industries will lose throughput, and the landowners and the industrialists will be unhappy with us. Or you say we cannot pull the brakes on the engines of progress, increasing mortality and irritating the trade unions. So we'd lose the, the landowners, family ties, you know, the influence bonus. But we wouldn't lose the industrious ones. So yeah, we'll go with that one. I hurt the manufacturing industries, but they'll, they'll be fine. So yeah, we lose that influence. But yeah, influence isn't really a major concern for us at the moment. Haven't had any problems with that. And you rarely do. So with the technology, let me just take a look and see if this is... It has increased a little bit, and you don't need to make any more universities. 24 months, and then we're going to get the malaria prevention, which allows us to colonize a bit faster. That'll be pretty helpful. I don't know if the British have it yet. But yeah, we're trying to compete for the rest of this and try and get as much of that as we can here. Try and colonize there before the, the British do. As far as other territory kind of racing towards here... Also, I'm going to try and get the coastline here before anybody else creates any colonies there. And at this point, we're just working on those government administration buildings now. As well as that one port. So once we get those done, we'll see where the bureaucracy is at. And then we'll take a look at the trade goods. And if we're good there, then we can start building up the military again. Currently have... 
409 battalions. Yeah, I figured it was just a problem with them not having them all hired yet. Uh, the British only have 489. Another location that needs a port. So I'll get that solved. And we've got all this money now. Since we're done constructing for the bureaucracy. We're at 322. Okay. So we do need more of those. Let me just take a look what uh, what penalties are we getting to our bureaucracy from our people or bonuses or whatever. Okay, so we're not getting any penalties, but we're not also not getting we're not getting that one bonus yet. So that'll step it up a lot, but we should just you know do the institutions based on the idea that we won't have the bonus. And so we need to build more government administration buildings because it's six six hundred something uh, that we currently need. Uh, so that's what we're gonna work on because I forgot we wanted to to do that. And there's a lot of places where the, the taxation capacity needs to be increased anyways. So we'll do these throughout here. I get quite a few of these. Each one of those increases the taxation capacity by only 15. So once you're up to 30, you probably should have been building those in different locations. Locations that need them a little bit more. Yeah, I'll work on those. Just using the gold reserves up on on this kind of stuff for right now. And then after that's done, kind of pull back on our building a little bit here. Because we're probably going to war here in a minute. Or, or soon, I mean. Against Siam. Do they have any allies? They do. They have one ally. Not that it really matters. All that matters is if is if a great power support them because none of these guys have enough troops to really become a concern for us of 64 battalions but yeah they're behind us in tech but yeah we'll definitely have to use a little bit more troops over here for this conflict than some of the past ones but again should be a fairly easy and, and quick conflict though of course you can take lots of attrition here due to the terrain being a bit rougher and so yeah, we want to get those troops raised up and uh, probably build back into the gold reserves again. Because yeah, we're making good progress there. I like having tons of money. So much that we can just like swim around in it. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck style. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, be changing up our institution here. And then we're going to... We're gonna wait to build anything, build up the gold reserves, because we need to know how much the, the army's gonna cost us when we raise it up before this war here. But first thing to do is the institution. A lot of choices here. Could've got to the colonial fair so that you can colonize faster. But we've been talking about our education system. It also makes sense to increase that. Uh, but you could also do law enforcement. We know we have these radical problems here. So that would be useful. And the health system, decreasing mortality, would be useful too. Social security, this makes people uh, have a better standard of living. So that's helpful. Also, they have lower political strength when they're receiving welfare. So a lot of good stuff to get here that we just haven't been investing in because we didn't have the bureaucracy. Uh, we really probably should have been building into it, but we've been focusing on the economy. I think it makes the most sense to do the uh, education since we've been talking about that for some time now. So let's get higher education access, increase our literacy rates, because I believe that we're probably behind the British. Let me just take a peek here. Yeah, 68.4%, so we are behind them. So yeah, I think it, it makes sense to try and improve that. Uh, though that does result in them being more political, those pops. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and start this up, guys. So we're going to try and make Siam into a puppet. You can see a lot of people are going to get involved in this. And that's without great powers. Uh, it's actually less infamy now. That's interesting. So let's we'll start this up and we'll see if we have to fight any great powers over this. So once it gets about halfway, we'll start raising up our troops here. Yeah, we'll see if they sway anybody onto their side. Of course, we'll have Spain's assistance as well. And there's another revolution in Germany. Germany's like always having revolutions in this game. And yeah, we'll just build up the gold reserves while we wait to get these troops raised up. You know, make up for all the, the money we've been spending here. We've got a lot of bureaucracy as well. 
So might be able to get two things. Two institutions? Probably not. We'll probably have to build a few more. Oh, we're going to have to bite China in this. Okay, so this is going to become a much larger conflict due to China joining in. They were swayed by Siam. It makes sense that China would get involved in this one. And so we're going to have to fight on multiple fronts now. Now we'll wait a bit longer. Trips do got to go a long ways. So don't want to wait too long. Yeah, they're going to bring all these other countries into this conflict. suppose it's not surprising. This is a pretty big play that we're going after here. And we did gain a lot of infamy from it as well. All right, so I think that's good. Let's go ahead and get these troops raised up now. See how many we want to send. I think we're going to need to send a lot with China getting involved. Yeah, this is going to be a much larger conflict. Now, we don't know how much they're actually going to commit to this. You know, China has a lot of battalions, but we don't know, you know, if they're going to send, uh, you know, all of them. Probably not. They'll probably just send a, a few. How many fronts are we going to have? I guess that's what we need to know. Looks like, so at the very least, you have that one. You have this one here. Okay, so a bunch of fronts. So we're probably going to have to raise up so many troops that we need to recruit more units. Uh, more generals, I should say. So yeah, let's go and recruit more generals. We'll get another one in the France HQ. Let's look and see who we got. suppose we'll go with this guy. He's the only one that doesn't have any penalties. And do one over here as well. A lot of battalions available there. Unfortunately, all of our guys have some type of penalty here. Let's go with this commander here. We'll probably have to promote some of those, those troops that we have. Uh, we actually have somebody decent here. Okay, so we're going to recruit him now. And then, yeah, we're getting some decent guys. I'm thinking three generals in each of those ones is pretty good. And then maybe... Could do one more in North Africa, because you only have the, the one currently. We have a lot of troops there. And luckily we're getting some some decent guys over here. So that's probably good. You know, this is all costing us uh, bureaucracy. Also increasing the, the power of the armed forces as well, so something to consider. And then we might want to just take a look and see who all we want to promote now, just based on their skills. Obviously probably shouldn't be promoting the cocaine addicts. Uh, this guy here's got a couple good traits, a couple bad traits. I think it makes sense to promote these two. These guys have both been serving us for a while now, so we're going to promote them both. Up to level 3. Promote him up to level 2. And we'll take a look at some of our other guys. Now, this guy's pretty good. Maybe we'll do him level 3 as well. And take a look at some of our New Year guys, maybe just promote one of them. As for which one. And one of these two down here. They don't uh, recover their morale as quickly. Yeah, probably one of these two. Who's the younger guy? It's going to be serving us for longer. This guy here. So we'll promote him. I suppose another thing to consider would have been uh, where they're located. So this is the, the current number of troops that they have here. Uh, so let's go ahead and send uh, clearly our better general there. Just send a, a bunch of large armies here. It's going to be a you know, larger conflict here. So we'll do three large armies. And maybe a few smaller ones. Yeah, maybe these these two here. Since we have five total fronts. So that looks pretty solid there. That should be plenty enough troops. Uh, though we do need to get them moving over to the fronts, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and go see how we want to do this. We we'll want to base it off of where they have their troops located. And I'm surprised that this front hasn't opened up yet with China that's kind of weird all right well our defenders gonna be here defending that front and then we're gonna want our best offensive commanders we're gonna have one attack there 
and then one attack over here. And then we'll just have the smaller armies down here in this little area. Pushing the front board. I think there's one more here. There we go, beautiful. So we'll get them all moving over here. Take them some time, you see they'll start conscripting all their troops. Raising them up, and we'll see uh, just how many troops they raise up. Obviously, our troops are better, so that's something to consider. We don't need as many as they do. It's gonna take them a while to get here as well. Hopefully I raise them up soon enough. Seems like it should be. Yeah, we should be good here on time. A lot of little movements currently. Yeah, I was expecting this to be a front here, considering the fact that China's in this war. They are still in it, right? Oh, uh, okay, it looks like they left. So they had been swayed, but now they abandoned it. Okay, that's the reason why it wasn't a front. Well, that's one reason why I raised up so many troops. I suppose I pro probably should have looked at that. Well, whatever, it just means we will get the war done a little bit quicker. And we're not building anything right now, so we're still earning money. And so yeah, we should build a, uh, with this in mind, we might as well attack over here as well. Although I suppose having him defend isn't a bad thing. We could just push up through this way. So yeah, we, you can see we got the, uh, the advantage on all the fronts here. And then the Spanish will also be over here helping us out. And so we should be able to push forward pretty quickly because we got a lot of troops with a bunch of fronts. So it's a lot of battles that can happen all at once. And we have been building those gold reserves up. Let me just take a look at market costs, see if there's anything we want to do here. Uh, how are we doing with the investment pool? We're spending a lot of it. Okay, good. Very good. So obviously wine's still a problem. Just no way to easily fix that. So instead we'll do the engines, which are clearly too expensive. We never did build anything. Never did the motor industries here. Do we still have, well, we got some unemployed. Really probably shouldn't build any further than that though. Okay, so let's sort this by labor and build in locations where we have these. Just work on trying to improve the, the price of engines. And so yeah, this war, because China didn't get involved, is, is not going to be too difficult, especially with all the troops I raised up for this. Probably quite costly in both lives and money though. Though not as bad as them, but yeah, we're spending tons of money because of all those troops I raised up. One of our generals just retired as well. Yeah, very expensive, but not doing too bad with the, the amount of dead and wounded, the casualties. Their numbers are mounting though. Yeah, you can see we're having good good progress here. Pushing forward. Cut off a bunch of troops. Not that that's actually a mechanic in this game at all. Though it does look like they pushed forward here briefly. Because we didn't have any troops over there. Kind of just letting the AI run this and hoping they do it alright. Just looking for any like uh, locations where... I mean, I, I think we're going to actually change up this guy here. And go ahead and have him start advancing that front now. Even though he's a defender. An exile at the gates. So this is one of the agitators, a foreign agitator, North German. And he's recently petitioned to join the stream of people moving into the French Empire. Uh, what does he support? Let's see here. He would not store, start or join any political movements if he was invited. I don't really care. At least he takes up a slot. And doing this one here would result in us losing approval. And you get, uh, you know, you get the agitators anyways, regardless of whether you approve that one, you're just gonna get another one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this conflict here, we can declare our neutrality in. And so this should be enough here for us to complete the Indochina campaign. As soon as we finish up this war. We might need to move some troops around over to this front. They might move on their own as well. We'll have to see. But yeah, they seem to be doing fine. Uh, just looking at the overall troop numbers. I mean, some of them you clearly have more troops there than you need. I mean, overall, in general, we have more troops everywhere than we need. 
Because China just dropped out of this. I'm not entirely sure why they committed to it and then, then left right away. Just changed their mind, I suppose. Maybe just as like, hey, we'll we'll join this and see if we can scare them into to backing down. I don't know. But then again, it is the AI of a Paradox game, so I'm probably giving them way too much credit here. Yeah, the, the generals seem to be doing all right here. Getting this completed and take that territory back over for us, uh, which they, they took from us. And now we're going to be pushing down here. And you see they will likely capitulate soon. Still little patches of territory everywhere that need to be finished up. And we can go ahead and build some stuff. I, I think we're going to do work more on the uh, bureaucracy. Let me just take a look here. See if there's anything else we really, really need at the moment. Uh, I suppose we could do the open as well. Because that's a bit expensive. And that's, that's a government good too. So we only have the one location, of course, and luckily we got tons of labor there. So we'll build five of those. Yeah, each of those get us 50, and it's a pretty big shortage here. And we did win the war. Alright, or well, we didn't win the war yet. Because they are over here. I guess we could do an invasion. Just to get this done with. But yeah, it's kind of a bummer because there's not really any... I mean, we could capitulate to them. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, see, so they want the white piece here, so yeah, we accept that. Because, yeah, I don't want to have to invade them. It doesn't make any sense. We've already won the war. Alright, so now we've got control of all this all this territory here guys this looks beautiful all right so that'll increase our GDP significantly now we're far above the British here still left behind just left in the dust with the prestige though yeah that's pretty bad but look at our population it's quite significant still obviously less than India and China but well above uh, Russia and the British so this will here will be completed now. Does it take time, or are we just waiting for it to to realize that it's it's done? Now there's a lot of other goods. Oh, we also need to. Well, we didn't take over that territory, so yeah, we don't need to make any uh, any of the adjustments here since we didn't conquer any of that. They're just subject uh, subject states. Uh, but yeah, them being in our country will adjust our prices, of course. So let's go ahead and work on the glass. It looks like we need a lot of these and apparently we're having infrastructure problems as well. So we need to build railroads first before we do anything else. All right, so work on that. Improve that situation. And yeah, our, our troop numbers are still sitting at 409 currently. We do have all our subject states now that can help us in wars. Of course, the, the British have more subject states to help out in their conflicts. But a lot of them, you know, they did do quite a few of the protectorates. Oh, wow, they got a, a big old rebellion they're dealing with. This is a Turkish liberal revolt against the Ottoman Empire. I think the Ottoman Empire is about to you know, cease to exist. I don't see how they... They win this. Uh, we did get the education investment increase, so now we should see literacy, go, uh, literacy going up faster. We have so many things for us to work on here. You know, obviously fixing all the goods prices and, and uh, the infrastructure, but, but then we, we still want to build up our military for a war against the British, and we still want to, to build up our bureaucracy as well. Man of wars, good shortage is irrelevant. We don't really care about that. Uh, but we do want to go ahead and get this, this port built. So we'll go ahead and do that. Still very large number of radicals in our country, but you see the standard of living has been getting better. Steadily increasing. So doing good with that. You can always take a look at the, the pops, you know, and just see what exactly is affecting them. 
So if you just want to look at, I don't know, some laborers here. Oh, these guys are starving. Of course, we did just conquer that territory. 790,000 Vietnamese laborers there. Yeah, if you just want to like look at somebody in France here yeah, that isn't being discriminated against, and you can see what they're spending most of their money on. Clothes here, so you could bring down the price there and that help with standard of living. Grains are kind of expensive too, so probably should improve that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we could we could work on here. And since wine's expensive, it makes sense to go ahead and get the grains improved as well. Oops. And that's going to be in the wheat farms here. And so that'll get us, you know, barely any wine, but it'll certainly improve the grain situation. And we're still taking care of those rails there. Those bases on labor where they don't have infrastructure issues. And we're going to need like a, a ton of these. So we're just going to build... He's pretty much everywhere here. Uh, probably shouldn't have built somebody there because they do have the infrastructure problems. And maybe get one here. All right, excellent. Go and declare our neutrality here. But yeah, all that constructing, of course, is uh, costing us. So we're back into burning through the, the gold reserves. And we're, we're again building into the investment pool. So once we finish building this here and you know get us into the positive again, what we want to do is get more construction. We want to make sure we're burning through all that investment pool. And we do have an uprising that we're currently facing. Okay, so we're gonna need to put that down. I think this is the first uprising we had in this area. So this will actually really help us because it'll allow us to uh, colonize here faster. But we'll let it get a little bit further before we raise up the troops. How many troops do we even need? Probably not many. Yeah, they have 14 battalions, so probably just that Italian army would be enough with the, the 10 battalions. Yeah, that'd probably be fine. But yeah, trying to improve the, the price of grain, that's a great way to increase the standard of living for our pops. Grains get too expensive. Yeah, you definitely want to, to do something to improve that situation. So yeah, that's what we're currently working on. Still getting these railways as well. And probably let it get up to like right around there. And the Ottoman Empire was not destroyed. Okay, I thought it would be. Did they win that rebellion? Because yeah, it was a liberal revolt, so I thought they might. I mean, they could have changed up different laws. I'm not entirely sure what it was about. But yeah, let's go ahead and get one of these smaller armies. Again, probably just the, the 10 troops here. Bring them over here to advance that front. Once that war kicks up. So our grain prices should get much better here. And then after we, we get these ones constructed, and back in the positive, I'll go ahead and get some more, uh, some more construction sectors. We got the shift work, so that's plus 20 economy of skill. Uh, because the pops spread out your building so much, that's usually not even going to help you all that much. But yeah, we can go ahead and now get, now that we're you know, back in the positive here, uh, we'll go ahead and do the construction sectors. Alright, so we'll do, are we done? Yeah, we can take advantage of those peasants there. Let's see where we want to build these other ones here. I guess in some locations where we have a lot of uh, labor and thus we're building in. Let me just take a look here. I guess we'll do five here and five here. So get that constructing. That shouldn't take very long. And then at that point, yeah, I mean, we just got to make sure we don't max it out because then we'll, we'll just be spending far too much. All right, so a couple things happen here. Got the war breaking out. Got the joining the scramble for Africa. I'm pretty sure we already done that before. 
But our growing colonial empire in Africa, along with the new means to prevent malaria, has made us a serious contender for colonial control of the continent. Okay, so you don't get that until after you complete that. I was wondering why that, that event hadn't fired. I thought it was the first one. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's it's this one here, which of course, you know, was level four, so it did take some time to get that. Uh, we have the malaria prevention, so that means we'll be able to colonize much faster here now. And uh, also we can go get another tech selected. I'm not entirely sure why we haven't done this one yet. Oh, we're not at peace, but hmm. We were at peace and still didn't complete it. So I'm not entirely sure why it's not completing, you know, before when we were at peace. Yeah, it's strange. Anyways, uh, let's go to get another level four tech selected here. A lot of options. I almost want to go for a military one though. Since I planned this war with the British. Here you can ignore the difficulty landing penalty for doing naval invasions. Of course we wouldn't be able to do naval invasions anyways though, because we can't win can't win in uh, the seas. Already working on the trench works. Looks like that's gonna be done here fairly soon. So I don't think we need to invest in that right now. Got the get the bolt action rifles, decrease the price of the guns. And that would just make your ships even better. So it probably makes sense to get that one. So we'll get the sea lane strategies. Yeah, we're gonna be building up the fleet here. So I say soon, but man, we're we got all this other stuff that we're currently working on. Just trying to get those grain prices and the, the wine pr uh, prices down. Let me just see if any other prices need to be adjusted here. Obviously, you know, not making a huge dent in the, the wine here, but how did we do in getting the grain down? Pretty good. All right, so it's down to negative 11%. We still got other ones constructing. So yeah, we're in a good place there now with the grain. So I guess we need to do glass next and then probably the explosives. So we'll do the glass works first here, though, you know what? I do need to make sure that infrastructure problems have been solved everywhere before we do that. So work on this first. Of course, this all earns us money since the railways are owned by us. So work on that, and then we'll do the, the glass buildings there. And how's this work going? So looks like we should have it done soon, hopefully. Yeah, okay, we gotta conquer all this. Never mind, that's gonna take a little while longer. But yeah, don't need many troops here due to our very high offense compared to their defense. So those 10 units is absolutely fine. They only have 13 themselves. So that's plenty enough units to get the job done. Yeah, trying to stay in the positive a little bit here so we can start burn, uh, building up the, the gold reserves again. Yeah, spending a lot of that investment pool, which is what we want to see here. But I think we're going to go ahead and, because we have so much investment pool, uh, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is get more construction sectors, guys. So let's build, see how we want to do this here. Probably, probably here. Because we got so much labor there. Yeah, we'll do here. We'll find more of those. Get those constructed. And then, and then we can go and start working on the, the uh, glass prices. And this here, we can go and declare our neutrality in. Very high support here. This is just resulting in just massive amounts of radicals. We probably should get rid of this guy. We invited him over here. He wasn't supposed to start anything. And then he did. So we're gonna have to take a look at that, guys, uh, because this is very high support, which will cause more radicals. Even if the radicalism is low, that's based entirely uh, off of how radical those pops are and will cause, rather than causing more radicalism, what that does is result in it being more likely to be a civil war. So now let's go ahead and do any location. Looks like they're working on that quite a bit too. Probably do the high cost. So we'll just do a few of these locations here. There we go. That looks pretty good. And yeah, the, the pops should be constructing quite a bit now with all that construction we have for them. 
And unfortunately, I don't really have much time to to play any longer. We can do like another minute. Try and get these some of these railways here done. Well, that's gonna take a while. Yeah, I'll probably just get to June here. And we got a vulnerable front, I'm guessing the front split. Yeah, the front split. And our army went over here instead. So let's just move him to advance over here just so they don't reconquer all that territory we just we just took there. Alright, so unfortunately we do have to end today's episode here. I was really hoping to be able to invest more in the military in this one. I know we built up the battalions a lot, but yeah, we didn't build the fleet up at all. Uh, but yeah, we've just been focusing on the economy and, and warfare, of course, takes time as well. We did get a lot of new territory over here, so doing pretty good in that regard. But yeah, you can see our prestige is still significantly behind the British. Now our GDP has climbed up quite a bit, and now we've taken off and, you know, we're over 10 million above them at this point. Our standard of living is catching up as well. But yeah, you can see with the uh, prestige, they're just so much higher than us again because of the, the military. That's a large reason there. The fleet, in fact, it's probably the majority of that prestige that they have. So yeah, we need to continue to build that up because yeah, like I said, I want to, I'd like to do a war against them. And we just need to have a more capable military in order to expect to win that conflict. And what we'd do is we'd, we'd seek to go after all their territory here in Africa. We'd want all this here, this here. I mean, we can't get it all in one war, I don't think. But yeah, try and take over as much of this over here as we can. Declare this is our sphere of influence. They can have this side. Uh, we do need... I meant to do this. We do need to take a look and see who we want to get rid of here. Uh, I think it's this guy. The guy we brought in because he's loved. And so he has such high support there. He does seem to be the biggest problem. Oops. So let's go and exile him. I guess we should have never brought him in. Figures. Said it wasn't he wasn't gonna create one, but he did anyways. We'll let it go through this week here real quick. And he got the achievement to agitate elsewhere. Surprised we didn't get that before. Maybe the achievements weren't working right, because that's not that's not the first guy that we exiled. Unless you had to do like a certain amount of exiles. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.